Like I was on a beach sipping margaritas and I still was like, I'm ready to get back to the gym and get ready back to my life. 10 days is not going to destroy you and it's the same way it's not gonna make you. It just doesn't work that way. Tire shine for free? Yes, you sure would. Bed is gonna be clean. You find a penny, pick it up all day long, you'll have good luck. But you know what? I'm having a good day, so I figured I'd leave it for somebody else. <laughs> like, look at my face compared to my hand. This is the minion from Wish. I thought this would be nice for just kicking around the house, and I'm really in my sweatsuit era. Not me, not pressing record. I swear I know how to do my job. 10 days gone, and she don't know what she's doing anymore. Okay, hello. <laughs> Welcome back, it's Monday, it's 11 a.m. I slept in, I had a crazy travel day. I'll recap everything that I just spent the last like five minutes talking about. Um, and what was I gonna say? <laughs> I had a crazy travel day. We had an amazing vacation. Literally like my favorite vacation I've ever taken with Arlo and Scott. It was just, it was awesome. It was so much fun. It was so beautiful. We stayed at Esperanza. Scott's stepdad is like a partial owner at Esperanza and it's a beautiful resort in Cabo. Um, it was just, it was so much fun. I didn't vlog like anything. I don't think I vlogged anything. I took videos, but not like sideways videos that you could actually like see. Um. So yeah, I just thoroughly enjoyed myself and I, um, yeah. Oh, there we go. But we're back. It was a long travel day. I didn't get home till late and my flight, my connecting flight got, we were on separate flights. My connecting flight got, I missed it, da da da, whatever. Um, I slept in, but I realized when I was on that trip that like, I really feel like I've created what is like a healthy lifestyle for me or a lifestyle that I crave, which is like working out and eating a certain way and all of that because like I, no matter what, like I was on a beach sipping margaritas and I still was like, I'm ready to get back to the gym and get ready back to my life. And um, you know, that's like, I feel like a good sign that I'm like building something that I really enjoy and crave and love. Um, but all that to say, we're getting back, back to it, back on track, whatever you call it, back to routine, whatever people say. Um, but if you went on a vacation recently and you're like, oh my God, those 10 days, I'm just, I, uh, I need to like completely shift my life. Just like 10 days of eating healthy and working out isn't gonna do anything, and neither is that to eating and drinking and not working out. So remember that little tidbit that 10 days is not going to destroy you and it's the same way it's not gonna make you. It just doesn't work that way. So, back on it, back on our healthy, or our, our lifestyle. And that's what it is, lifestyle. So, headed to the gym, yes at 11 a.m. <laughs> you know what, better late than never. I just really needed to listen to my body and sleep in because I was tired. Um, and so, yeah, that's what we're off to do now. I don't know if I'm gonna do like a full workout or if I'm just gonna do some treadmill walk. I'll see how I feel once I get in there. I'll probably wanna work out once I get this pre-workout running through my veins, um, which I haven't had in you know, a while. So, and then we're gonna do a big old oldie restock because I need basically everything again. Um, so I will be filming a separate video for that on the channel here. Um, I'm gonna like do a full, I. There's not much in my fridge, but I need to like clean out anything that is remaining, uh, wipe everything down, and then re restock, reorganize, and all the things. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Mm. So good. <clears throat> Let's get to it. Happy Monday. I had some scary experiences in the Chicago airport yesterday, though, that like they kind of warn you about. Um, in the bathroom, first of all, it's like full of homeless people. I get it, um, they're you know begging for money and whatnot. Um, but you just need to be careful, careful of your stuff. First of all, be careful of your stuff, be careful of your whatever. Um, and then I was like getting ready to leave and um, I was taking an Uber because Scott's flight landed really earlier, much earlier than mine. Um, and he already got Arlo home to bed, so I wasn't gonna like make him you know, pick me up, obviously, right? I wasn't gonna make him wake him up. So I just told him I would Uber home. So I'm like booking an Uber in like, first of all, Ubers were like $75 when they're normally $30 from the airport because it was Super Bowl, it just ended, so that was fun. 
Um, and uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, so in the airport, they like warn you, like, don't, um, anybody who needs you to take a ride, you don't need that ride. Basically, like, they're trying to get you to go in their car, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, so I'm like, oh, that's weird, but okay, I don't understand, but, like, I didn't really, like, think much into it. Anyway, um, I didn't realize that until I'm, like, going out to get my uber which i book because i was like trying to figure out where to pick it up because you can only pick up in a certain spot in chicago and thankfully there was another couple waiting there and i like asked them because there was a man who literally just came up to me he's like do you need an uber and i was like um and i like thought to myself, oh, no i already have one and then i asked a couple of, like this is where i'm supposed to be right and, was, and then i booked the uber and they're like yeah and then you have to like walk down a ways but like could you imagine if someone was like a tourist and got in that car and had no idea like that's scary dude where were you where were you planning on going you weren't an uber ubers don't come up to the airport and just ask for help like you book on an app i don't know it was sketchy and he kept asking every single person and then when we all were like giving him weird looks he like went outside and continued to ask anybody who walked out the door and i was like oh creepy I hope no one got in the car with him last night and I'm like how do you like where do you report that to like what do you do oh no there was no one in the airport it was dead it was late um clearly they know it's an issue because they put up signs on it but anyway let's finish chugging this pre-workout and get our butt let's head to gym happy Monday all right workout done gas gotten I only did like a quick workout honestly I don't know about y'all I um trying to trim you done. <laughs> I feel a drastic difference in my workout when I don't um feel my body properly even the day before. Um so yeah, I just like wasn't feeling like I could go very long. Like my endurance um sucks and um my like strength. It's just not where it needs to be. Like yesterday I had um, we had a really, we had the breakfast buffet at Esperanza, which, which is amazing. And then I had, um, a bag of Skittles. <laughs> I had a chicken cob salad with a beer for lunch. And then I had a Snickers for dinner. So that was my day. I also had a bag of pretzels. Um, yeah, that was my, my meal for yesterday. So clearly not, uh, built for, or, you know, fueling my workout. So I kind of just did what I could do and it is what it is. Um, but one like insanely amazing thing about living in this area, besides, first of all, I hate that they don't have car washes around. So I need to go all the way to Algonquin. I wish there was a car wash over here, but not the end of the world. Um, but is that I missed my Chicago flight, right? And there's already another Chicago flight, like an hour and 40 minutes later. Like, it's just such a big airport and so popular that it's not hard to get another flight pretty quick. Um, so that was amazing. Um, very, very blessed because I was like, crap, I don't want to like stay overnight, right? Um, so, yeah, that was awesome. Um, now I'm going to go to, I'm going to get a car wash first, then come back and go to Oldie. So that way none of my stuff's like sitting for a while because I also need to let it sit to like clean out my groceries or clean out my fridge. So let's go grab a car wash. I know it's supposed to like rain tomorrow, but there's so much salt on my car. Honestly wanted, and there's no snow on the, in, in the area anymore. It's crazy. This winter is crazy. I feel like I forgot how crazy North, Northern winters are. It's like 50, it's 50 degrees out right now. It's supposed to snow later this week. Like it's just madness. But I feel like we haven't had any snow that like really has stuck yet. And does that just like not happen anymore? I don't remember. Um, but I feel like I can justify getting a car wash because um, I'd rather have water on my car versus salt just chilling on it. So we're gonna go to the one on Algonquin. Um, ooh, goodness, person. And uh, clean this baby up because I just feel like I've neglected her. I don't think, I've gotten one car wash since I've lived here. <laughs> um, and uh, I have some Amazon returns, but I don't think I'm gonna get to that today. So let's go do it. I kind of wanted to grab a Dunkin' Donuts coffee because I haven't had one of those in forever, but I also haven't eaten anything and I already took pre-workout. And I haven't had that much caffeine over the last like 10 days, so I don't think that's a great idea to just like 
jump back into it like like full force, you know? So let's um head to the car wash. I did want to run to Target. Me just going through my brain. Unload. Oh, hello, sir. Unloading on all the things that I I just haven't talked to y'all in so much or so long, and I really freaking miss it. And I also think I've decided that my next car is going to be a Bronco. I think they're stunning. <clears throat> Let's do a big car wash today, shall we? I haven't done a car wash in a hot minute, so let's get the full baggie. Would you like to add tire shine for free? Yes, mm -hmm. sure would. Please pay with either credit card or cash. It's gonna be clean. feeling clean feeling good I'm so happy it's such a nice day perfect day to like just get a car wash so let's leave and go get our groceries now I'm like proper hungry which is not great to go grocery shopping during but there you know it is um almost one o'clock <laughs> we're just having a day it's okay I like normally I'm very like oh I have to you know like do everything as soon as I get back from vacation, but that's just like not how it's gonna be today. Um, and there's just a couple things that I have been wanting to get done, so that's what today's gonna be. Just a little uh, catch up cleany sort of day. Um, so let's get out of here. Grab some yummy, healthy groceries. I wish I kind of planned out what I want but I think that I kind of like know and I think we'll be good lots of veggies literally so many veggies um thankfully on the trip I chopped up a bunch of veggies and kept them in the fridge like a big old giant Tupperware um so we did eat veg over the 10 days but uh not not enough not my usual veg consumption um so you know gotta get back on it today and uh or this week and i'm gonna chop everything up and kind of prep it out again like i did like i normally do i just eat it better then um i started reading the atomic habits book again which i haven't read in a hot minute if you've ever read that book it is such an easy but good reader good mindset and i honestly feel like I need to read a book like that kind of every so often so if you have any other recommendations for books like the atomic havoc I think I'm gonna get the atomic habit habit journal um but if you have any if you've read that book and have any other sort of like I don't know self betterment self help I don't know self help sounds weird but <laughs> self betterment um that's not a word but whatever uh you know what I mean like if you have a book like recommendation like that let me know in the comments down below because I think I want to get more into reading um during the whole I don't think I've not that this is something you need to share but I am somebody who falls asleep with tv every single night like I have to um and over the past like 10 days when we were in Mexico I never fell asleep with my with the TV on and I was like yo I can do this and Scott hates it it's one thing that he absolutely hates that I do so I'm like maybe I can drop that habit and then um I feel like 
right now I use my bedroom as like my chill space. I get everything done in my bedroom towards when Arlo goes to bed. I just go in my bedroom, I paint my nails, I watch TV, I chill. And I think my brain got like associated the bedroom with not necessarily just sleeping. So I think I'm shifting that focus. That's something I, you know, picked up from my Atomic Habit book. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be trying to only go into my bed when it's actually bedtime. Um, and kind of shift those those habits around a little bit as well. I don't know where that was leading to. The book, maybe? Um, so, yeah, I'm stopping sleeping with the TV on. I did it last night, no problem. Um, so, I was, it was also like one o'clock in the morning though because it was late and yeah. I like to get mostly everything at least unpacked, whether it's put away or washed or whatever but I washed all of our clothes before we left Mexico because we had really nice big washing machines in there. So I was like, heck yeah, threw all that in there. So 99% of our clothes are already washed and clean. I just need to put them away and hang them and stuff. So that was a game changer for me. So I don't have to spend the next day like doing five loads of laundry and putting it all away, you know? So anyway, I'm so hungry. I should not be going to Aldi right now, but I am going, so. Nish. And then I will need to go to Target to pick up like coffee. Uh oh. I went the wrong way. Can I go through here? Yes, I can. Um, to pick up coffee, yogurts, um, creamer. Just a couple small things that I can't get uh, from Aldi. Because I did not like their creamer last time. It was like chunky and very oily. So, in my opinion, it was not not the move so I'm gonna stick with and one of y'all told me that the natural bliss they changed their ingredient list so I think I'm gonna go back to Chobani which I used Chobani while I was um, in Mexico dude I was so surprised at how much stuff they had in Mexico um, or in Cabo like it was like Central Market it was a really good grocery store the grocery store I think it's called Freshco or something fresh whatever right next to like, across the street from the resort we were seeing yeah Oh, and if you go to Cabo, um, Cabo San Lucas, um, Rev La Revolution was our favorite restaurant that we ate at while we were there. So good, great drinks, great food. They have a gin bar up on top as well, but it was super good and um, one of the most affordable restaurants that we ate at also, I mean, now that it was super affordable, but comparatively to like all, um, I mean, we were staying at the resort, so. Uh, it was very expensive because it's a very <laughs> expensive resort, but um, yeah, that was our favorite restaurant over, we ate at Toro, loved it over Toro, loved it at um, Sir Beach Club, um, what else did we eat at, Seven, Seven Surf, Seven Seas, I don't remember, I had another thing, um, but we ate at La Palapa so, like all the time, so, alright, we're at Aldi, let's see if I can find a quarter. I can. I've been giving my quarters away as hopes like if I run out of quarters somebody will bless me with their life. I also found a quarter or a penny at the uh, car wash and it was heads up and my mom used to say find a penny pick it up all day long you'll have good luck but you know what I'm having a good day so I figured I'd leave it for somebody else. Y'all we did it. I spent a lot of money but I got a lot of good food and I'm just so excited. Um, Scott's been obsessing over my orange chicken that I made the other night, so I'm gonna make it again. Um, and I'm gonna link the recipe, because I don't, just spit all over you. I don't think I linked the recipe last time, but it's so good. So, I'm gonna do that tonight. But I'm gonna go home and prep some veggies, boil some eggs, and film a full grocery haul, because I got a lot of stuff. So let's go home. Or my um, grocery haul. I'm like really 
below. Um, my nails honestly didn't do too bad. Like they chipped, this part chipped like yesterday. Um, I mean, you can see the grow out. Um, but this is the Essie Gel Couture and this lasted 11 days. I mean, the grow out's really terrible, but that was like me swimming in the pool every single day. Um, yeah, I used, what was it? Sheer Fantasy. That's the color I did on my nails and 10 out of 10 recommend that polish for the stain power. I typically just switch up my polish a little bit more, but like it was good, really good. Hello, you guys. It's the next day and it's like 2.30. I just woke up again. I don't know what happened to me, but I went to bed last night at like 10. We watched um, the new season of Next Level Chef season two, which we really like that show with Gordon Ramsay. And then we came up and went to bed. No problem falling asleep, felt fine. Um, when we woke up this morning, um, we both like slept in a little bit later than we needed to and Scott was like, can you help me get Arlo ready before I take him to school? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. So I did and, um, and I'm like getting him ready and I like got him dressed and I was like, I'm gonna throw up. Like I feel so nauseous right now. I was like the worst headache and I felt so nauseous. And so, I like laid back down in bed for a minute and then I was like, okay, I'm okay. So then I got up and put my contacts in and put my workout clothes on the bed like I was getting ready. And then all of a sudden I was like, I, I'm literally so just not well right now. And um, so then I was like, what the heck? So then I was just like, okay, I'll just lay down for really a little while. Hey. I was clearly hitting like deep, deep sleep because I was having like dreams, like vivid dreams. Like every time I'd fall asleep um, and like long ones, it felt like, and just like, I don't, these crazy wild dreams. And um, I would wake up like every hour or so, but then I would instantly fall back to sleep. Like I would wake up just to be like, okay, I'm awake, but then be like, nope, I'm not. And so then I just fall back asleep and it's 2.30. I haven't done that if I wasn't sick in forever. So it's like super weird. But then I also like realized like when we were in Mexico, I got a case of the, um, Scott calls it, I don't know if this is like a real term, Montezuma's Revenge. Yeah, we all did. Uh, I shouldn't have eaten a salad outside of the resort. Our resort like uses all good water but the water in Mexico is like you don't drink it. Well I ate a salad when we were in um Cabo San Lucas and I shouldn't have done that because it made me really sick and um I was fine but I just wasn't like it didn't stop me from doing anything I just didn't feel good you know um and so I'm wondering if it all just like kind of caught up with me and um I just like but he was like, nope, girl, you missed out on sleep because I'm just such a sleep person. So I think my body was just like, nope, you missed out on sleep and you are, you're getting it all today. Which is such a bummer. I don't know, because I feel like I, I've just kind of been like, yesterday was kind of a wash of a day because I slept in and like I had to do like stuff like where I didn't get to do work stuff. And then I was just like, today's the day. And then my body had other plans, so. It's important when and if you can. I'm so weak yet to listen to your body and ow, oh, I just locked myself in the eye. Thankfully I can. Um, so yeah, I just slept the whole day. Um, happy Valentine's Day. But yeah, I don't know. I literally have slept, you know, a ridiculous amount of hours. But I clearly needed it. And I honestly could go back to bed now. So I don't know what's going on. I hope I'm not getting sick, but I think I'm just getting over like the lack of sleep that we got over the last little while um, when we were in Mexico because I am a sleep girl. So that is what I wanted to update you on. I did want to update you. I wanted to like do this vlog. I had a bunch of other things in my list today, but that, you know, isn't going to happen. So, um, yeah. Oh well. Um, let's just start our day at least. I'm gonna edit this vlog. And, um, 
I don't know, should I drink coffee at 2.30 in the afternoon? I'm in my like chuggy. I always get one of these like shirts, like these big oversized men's shirts. So it's a size large for men. Um, whenever I go somewhere, because I love these for just chilling around the house or like going to bed or whatever. They're just like those, you know, the ones that, like have the, you know what I'm talking about. I went tie dye this time and I mean, it's got a matching one with me. Um, so I'm gonna live in this for the rest of the time. Yeah. I like kind of wanna Dunkin Donuts coffee. I have nothing else to do, so let's do it. <laughs> Y'all, we're halfway through Valentine or February and I still have January yet. Girl. All right, demolish my bagel in 2.5 seconds and I have my coffee at four o'clock in the afternoon. It is what it is. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better. I think I just needed some carbs in my life to like give me some freaking energy. But I love how I titled this, or I'm going to title this vlog, like getting back in routine. And here I am like doing the opposite. It's fine. <laughs> Let's clean up. I have a mess in my office that I need to tackle. And then I want to put away all the clothes that are in my packing cubes from the trip. Um, I put away Arlo's last night but I haven't gotten around to mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm actually gonna do that before I do my office because a lot of it has to come into the office because a lot of it's summer clothes. So let's sort out that. I also desperately need to water my plants, but why does that seem like the biggest task in the world right now? Make it make sense. <laughs> So this is the mess that is my office right now. Um, I unpacked everything in my room and put it away. This is all stuff that needs to go into this <laughs> closet. Um, did a little face wash. My face just like hated me in Mexico. Mostly because um, I was lazy with washing my face. I was tired. <laughs> and um, just layering sunscreen over sunscreen over sunscreen. Um, because let me just show you something. <laughs> I didn't let the sun like touch my face at all. So my son doesn't look, my face doesn't look like I was just in Mexico, but like, <laughs> like look at my face compared to my hand. Like I got really tan, but I didn't let the sun touch my face and I still got my melasma back. Oh, like I was just like, that is something I miss so much about just being carefree in the sun. It's just like not having to wear like a hat all the time and worry about my melasma coming back. It's just like kind of annoying, but it's it's just my future. It's my reality now. Um, and because I was breaking out, I wasn't putting any like face tanner on my face because I feel like it like clings to the dark spots even worse and makes them more like prominent. But anyway, the sucky thing about melasma is even if you treat it at home like mine went away a lot over the last like couple months because I was using the stuff that I got from my derm and um it just comes back it comes back from for me it doesn't just come back from sunlight because I didn't let the sun touch my face like, I'm not even kidding you um but it also comes back from heat yes like extreme amount of heat so if my body is really hot um or anything like that it will like become more but like look at, I didn't even sound this tan. This is just like my skin. My nails are or my hands are like um I mean I sound this tan like before I left. But there's no way it's still on. Like this is my yeah, this is my skin on my face and this is my body. So yeah, I definitely got a lot of tan. Um my skin just like hated me from like reapplying, reapplying, reapplying sunscreen and not like rinsing it off or like properly removing it, clearly. So that's what we're dealing with that. So I just like washed my face and I was just like, I'm just gonna have like a chill day. It'll get back to normal. Um, it just went through it, which I don't know, sucks. Which means he's gonna come to join us. Y'all, my heart, my um, dog sitter that I have for her, she's like, I was telling her, I was like, hey, like Scott's gonna come pick up Winnie today because my flight got, um, I don't miss my connecting flight, da da da. And she was like, no problem. She's like, I just have to let you know, I love Miss Winnie, she's the sweetest. Now she's been sleeping in our bed because she thinks it's okay to sleep in beds because she lets her sleep in bed with her. But she's like, I just wanted to let you know I gave her a little spa day today before you pick her up. Um, 
I noticed she gets a lot of like crusties in her eyes and so I put a warm washcloth on it and whipped it off and I just trimmed her little fur in between her feet and I'm just like god bless like you are the sweetest human ever like I just I don't know I just it just feels so good to have somebody like really care for your dog that's all I can say or anybody in your life that you love it feels really good to like feel that back but anyway needless to say i'm gonna clean up this office i'm gonna pick up pick up all my crap and put it away and be able to start fresh tomorrow um i actually have a call with youtube tomorrow which is kind of crazy they're doing this new pilot program you know how like i link all the stuff in my description box for stuff they have like this feature i know some people already have it on their video i do have it on my video i just never used it and i didn't really know much about it um but you can link it on the screen as i'm talking about it and it doesn't just show one site it shows a million different sites that you can buy it for for the best price which i think is the most helpful like when i'm looking for things um especially if it's a product that you can get on amazon or walmart or target or anything I like to try to find the best deal um, at the moment and at the moment it might have been different than when I bought it or whatever so I think this program will allow you to find the best deal which is constantly what I'm trying to give to you guys like I don't even buy things at full price 99% of the time because I don't like that so I will search around and look for the best price of whatever I'm in the mood to buy if I'm in you know in the market to buy and I started doing this trick that I want to talk to you guys about um, I think I'm going to make a full video about like overconsumption and um, like how to, I don't know, not, shop a sh not stop a shopping addiction, but just like be a more conscious shopper. I think I'm going to make a video. If you're interested in that, thumbs this video up and let me know in the comments below. But I started making like a wish list and like kind of tracking it that way. And when I run out of a product, I'm going back to that wish list. Do I still want it? So on and so forth. So, um, I really just thought that this program would be really cool on YouTube. So I will, I have a call tomorrow at one about it. Um, and I'll recap you a little bit about that, but I just want to start my day off fresh tomorrow and hopefully feel better <laughs> because I don't know what's been going on with me through the last few days, but we're going to get it together. We're going to clean up this office. I want to wash my hair because my hair is looking really like dark and orange right now and then paint my nails. So let's get to this vlog of life, but okay. How freaking cute is this little wooden truck that um they wrote his name on it um the resort gave him blanca was our um he already broke the back wheel we're gonna fix that don't worry um blanca was our um like house cleaner whatever for the week we were there well two weeks because his stepdad was there before us but um they gave him this it was so sweet like on our last day so freaking cute what else do i want to show you oh my god i need to show you this um this freaking sweater so on i forgot what night it was of the resort they did um this like the lighting is trash in here it's trash they did a um <clears throat> like mexican taco night at the resort we didn't go to the rabat because we went to someplace else for dinner that i can't i think we went to toro that night but this little they had a bunch of like little vendors we got this minion thing, but he's kind of scared of it, so it's not in his room right now. Um, this sweater is hand-knitted, and then it has, like, this little, um, cloud over a snail with some, like, I think that's a flower. Yeah, a flower and a whale, or a fish, I don't know. Um, we saw so many whales, because it was whale season. This little sheep, more flower, like, cactus, sun, like, adorable. And then the back, I'm obsessed. This is my favorite thing in the world, the little duck. How cute is that? I just feel like this is just like the sweetest thing. It was like 45 bucks. Like, so amazing. Hand done. So cute. That was definitely my favorite thing. I don't think I bought anything when I was in Mexico for myself. I didn't. Um, This is the weird minion thing. Uh, he already broke one of the legs off on accident, but it's one of those the things that like bobble. I mean, Scott was like, this is the minion from Wish <laughs> or Alibaba or whatever, but it's cute. At first he really liked it and now he's freaked out by it. So we're just going to leave it in mom's room until he decides he's not freaked out about it anymore. And then I did a little, um, oh, here we go. I really need to clean up, but I did a little, oh, um, what was I going to say? 
What's up, baby girl? I did a little um, Abercrombie haul, and I thought it would be arriving by the time we left. So I still wanted to show you what I got. Um, I haven't tried anything on, but I got this bathing suit because I thought it would be really cute. I were, I wanted to get it when I was in store, and I and they didn't come in in time, or they didn't have my size. But it's this blue. How beautiful is this blue with like this kind of textured material? So this is the bottoms. I don't know if I'm a small or a medium, so we're gonna have to see on that guy. And then this top, I decided to get the Curve Love top. Um, so we'll see how it works. Um, it means it has bigger cup pads because the medium and the original swimsuits for them are just too big, or too small cups, but the band is too big. So it said for my bra size to get an extra small, and these cup pads look amazing. So we'll see what I think about them or if it fits. So there's that. Then I also got a little sweatsuit sort thing for spring. I'm ready for spring. So I got this medium little cropped sweatshirt in gray. This is so fluffy and so soft. Um, so I got this. And then with it, these little shorts. I thought this would be nice for just kicking around the house. And I'm really in my sweatsuit era. So these are the little shorts. They come banded over got pockets and I thought that would be like just a cute throw and go and then last but not least I just got this little basic gray t-shirt that's tighter I normally have been into looser shirts recently but I think these look cute when you have like um like looserish jeans looserish you know what I mean but this is the tuckable baby tee it's not like a cropped tee I don't want a cropped tight top I want something that goes fully into my pants so um, they have these in a million different colors and they're really stretchy and nice. So that was my little Abercrombie order. Okay, now let's let's finally clean up. All right, lighting is trash because it is nighttime, but office is clean. Brand videoing up. This is all stuff I need to donate and or sell on my Poshmark. Plus, I have stuff in the a mess. Um, yeah, we're clean though. So I'm gonna end up this vlog here, edit it, and get it up for you guys. Sorry, my hand is super shaky. Love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.